Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. And um, if you can't tell by the title, yes, all of these products, everything you see here is getting uh, tested today. Chemical resistance test. Now, a few things I just want to address before I get into the video. Uh, one, this is going to be a lengthy video, so feel free to skip through. Um, I talk a lot in my videos. If you're a more technical person like myself, you probably enjoy listening to me ramble on. If not, you can just go ahead and skip through, no big deal. Um, two, I don't do, or I'm doing a chemical resistance test. The reason I'm not uh, doing a test where I test the longevity or the durability of these on a car is because I only own two vehicles. I drive one of them to work every day. My wife drives the other one to work every day. My car is ceramic coated. My wife's car has a sealant on it. Um, and with the testing it on cars, everyone has different driving conditions, different environments. And each panel on the car sees different conditions. The front bumper is gonna see different from what the back bumper is gonna see, different from the side panel, from behind the tires, etc. So in my opinion, um, multiple products on one car is not a good test. One single product on a car is a good test because you can see how it's affected in the different areas. If any of you have long-term sealants or ceramic coatings, you'll notice the back of the car and behind the tires is what, what gets it the worst. Um, and if you are interested in seeing longevity tests, check out Scott HD, his YouTube channel. Uh, he takes pretty much everything you see here, with the exception of a few. He puts them on a panel and he lets it sit outside his shop. That way it's a fair, even comparison in a somewhat controlled test. Um, it's not representative of how long it's going to last on a car, but each product is relative of how long one lasts versus the other. Scott has a lot more time to devote to these tests than I do. Uh, because I believe he does detailing full time and he has a much more popular YouTube channel, which does funnel some more funds in for him to be able to do this. My YouTube channel is not that big, so at this moment I don't have the time to do it or the money. Um, anyways, chemical resistance test. Uh, what a chemical resistance test is representative of is really just how chemically resistant a product is across a range of chemicals, which gives you a good idea of what its durability is going to be like. Again, everyone's in different driving conditions. Some people store their cars inside, don't drive much. Some people drive them every day. So you're really never going to know. Uh, but this, you know, will at least give you a good idea of what's more worth your money. Um, anyways, so as we can see, we've got uh, Griot's Garage, Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax, Ceramic Speed Shine, Car Pro Elixir and Reload, Adams, uh, Graphene Ceramic Coating Spray, Original and Advanced, their Graphene Wax, um, Graphene Liquid Wax, excuse me, Graphene Detail Spray. From Turtle Wax, we've got the uh, Graphene Max Wax, uh, which is a liquid wax, their Flex Wax, which is a spray, and their Ceramic Plus Graphene Paste Wax. From New Finish, we've got their ceramic spray coating and their graphene spray coating. Uh, right next, we've got their graphene wax, their graphene detailer, and their ceramic detailer. We've also got Chemex's Awesome Sauce, which is a ceramic spray sealant detailer. 3D Beaded Up, which I don't believe contains any ceramic. I, I honestly have no idea. I'd have to look more into it and probably ask them. Uh, from my understanding, this is a polymer based sealant, but this stuff is pretty impressive for the price. And lastly, uh, we have white diamonds, diamond coat, uh, graphene infused ceramic spray coating. Now, a couple things to address, guys. Um, I have done videos on almost all these products, so if you're interested in seeing that, go uh, search through my channel and you can find stuff like that. Um, another thing is any of these products that are a sealant, wax, whatever you call it, I, you know, none of these are actual waxes. I think this is the only one is that contains carnauba wax. But well, this is such a blend of different waxes. I mean, it's not even really organic wax anymore. Um, and these are more ceramic based. They just call them wax. Wax is just a term that marketing uses because people understand what that term means. Um, people don't really understand what sealant means unless you're in working in this industry. Uh, so for all intents and purposes, everything that says wax, I refer to as a sealant. Um, so getting into what I was gonna say is any Base, any, any product I have here that has a sealant and a detailer, I applied each of them and then I also applied uh, in one square, and we'll get to that in a minute, the base sealant plus the detail spray on top, so I stacked it. And if you see it in some of my videos, that works really well. So we're going to see how they, they handle standalone and how they handle um, stacked together. Now I did two layers of everything. Um, and I, everything has, it's been over 24 hours since I applied all these, so they've had time to cure. 
I think. Is the turtle wax longer than 24 hours? Uh, let me see. Nope, 24 hours. Okay, so it's 24 hours before washing. So everything's uh, been cured. Some of them say they have no cure time, but I'm sure they could benefit from a 24 hour cure time. Um, and the only time I didn't do two layers, which I still did two layers, is when it's the base sealant plus the detail spray. That's the two layers there. Um, and I only waited a few minutes between layers, and the purpose of me layering is to make sure I got even coverage, not because I think layering doesn't. I, I personally think layering is a waste of time unless you're using two different products that complement each other. If you're using the same product again, I don't think it adds much to the top, um, but that's, that's up for argument. That's a different story. Uh, let's get over to the panel and I will show you guys how I got it all set up. Okay, so here is our test panel. Um, because I have so much done, the, you know, the test itself is going to be a little zoomed out. Uh, but I'll bring you in close so you can see what everything is and I'll name it off. So right here we've got uh, Adam's Graphene Advanced Spray, um, Adam's Regular Graphene Spray, Adam's Graphene Wax, Adam's Graphene Detail Spray. And that Graphene Wax is Liquid Wax. Down here we've got uh, Adam's Graphene Advance plus their detail spray. Uh, Adam's Graphene plus their detail spray. And again, this is the spray coatings. Uh, Adam's Graphene Liquid Wax plus detail spray. 3D's beat it up. Go down. Turtle Waxes uh, to the max liquid wax. Sorry for the glare there. Uh, Turtle Wax is paste wax. Their graphene ceramic paste wax, uh, their flex wax, and white diamonds diamond coat. Down one row. Hold on one second. Turn off one of the lights and adjust the camera. So down one row, we've got uh, their max liquid wax, turtle wax max liquid wax plus their flex wax, uh, their ceramic graphene paste wax plus flex wax, Chemex awesome sauce, and uh, what is that? New finish ceramic coating, new finish. Graphene coating, new finish ceramic plus graphene coating. Uh, and then we'll come down here. We got CarPro Reload, CarPro Elixir, CarPro Reload plus Elixir, uh, Grios Ceramic 3 in 1 Max, Grios Ceramic Speed Shine, and Grios uh, Ceramic 3 in 1 Max plus Speed Shine. I already said what that was. In the bottom row, Rainex's uh, Graphene Wax Spray, Rainex's Graphene Detail Spray. Rainex Graphene Wax Spray plus Detail Spray and Rainex Ceramic Spray. So uh, next part we'll go ahead and talk about the chemicals we're going to be using. Okay, so if you've seen my videos before, you're no stranger to this. Um, excuse the noise, I got the air conditioner on, so it's hot in here. Um, we're going to rinse it first and then we will use Turtle Wax's uh, Slick and Slide Pure Wash. This is a pH neutral shampoo with no additives um, to wash it. And then between each chemical, we'll wash it with this and rinse. Uh, we'll go, so we go from the, in my opinion, least harsh chemical to the most harsh. So CarPro's Iron X. Um, this is a close to pH neutral iron remover, no added detergents. 3D Orange Degreaser. This is a bit of an alkaline uh, cleaner degreaser. Uh, it's a bit mild, you know, this stuff is good for all, all around general purpose cleaning. This is their ready to use formula, which is, I believe, is approximately an eight to one dilution of their gallon concentrate. Uh, here we've got purple power, full strength. Uh, somebody suggested super clean, so I don't have super clean, but purple power. So we got purple power, full strength here. Uh, Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. So this is an alkaline cleaner. This is also an alkaline cleaner. Um, so they're non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, then we're dropping the pH down Low Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. This is an acid cleaner. And then we're going to finish it off with Carpro's Tarex. Tarex is a solvent based um, tar and adhesive remover. This stuff always, always, always severely diminishes anything I throw it on, with the exception of ceramic coatings. Um, so that's, that's the process we're going to go through. So let's get set up and we will get this started. All right, so I apologize. I know it is a little tough to see, but uh, I had to zoom out to make sure we can get the whole shot in. Um, but we'll, I'll zoom back in and I'll show the water behavior after everything is all said and done. So first thing we're going to do is just uh, test it with the uh, water. See how it's all performing. Just water. And 
And as you can see, everything is very hydrophobic. See how that water beating looks. Looks great. Nothing really standing out as uh, doing that. Okay, so first test, of course, like I said, is to wash it. So, that wash bucket over here. See how it does with just some water. Or just some soap and water, excuse me. Pretty good. Everything handled the soap, no problem. As you can see, it was slower sheeting off of the sides. Um, and yeah, you can see the, I mean, you have to look at it in person. Sorry, I can't show it on camera, but you can see the lines of where everything is. It'll become more prominent as the test goes on. Uh, so first chemical is going to be copper iron X. It's a neutral iron remover. Now I added detergents. And of course, I'm gonna wipe everything in. So that's really gonna test it all. Stinks as always. <laughs> Our next has never smelled good. Next. Nothing seems too affected, but again, just to make sure there's no chemical residue interfering with the behavior, you can wash it. Comment below which one do you think is going to come out on top? I think the Atom spray coatings are because those obviously are in a different category than the rest of these. Those are solvent based products where uh, everything else is water based. But never know, I might have some surprises here. Everything doing good. Uh, this is 10x awesome sauce. It is more of a sheeting product. They say that themselves. Uh, but everything is still beating, beating well. MX is the only one that's not beating as well, but again, I didn't design it that way as far as uh, from what I understand. Next, 3D's orange degreaser. Running out of this stuff. products, namely uh, Turtle Wax, Rain-X, Rios, maybe a new finish. <coughs> so as we can see with the chemical on there, the new finish is just pushing everything off. Um, Rios with the uh, ceramic speed shine is pushing everything off. The Rain-X with the detail spray is pushing it all off. And the rest of these, uh, turtle wax is doing decent, but uh, a lot of them are just going to let it sit there. And I will say that uh, detail sprays tend to be more hydrophobic than the base sealant, but uh, they don't tend to be as durable, like longevity-wise. They don't bond as well. So that's what you sacrifice when you want better water behavior. Yeah, everything's still doing great. Wash. 
No, nothing yet. Nothing seems to really be uh, deteriorated yet. And I'll tell you, these detail sprays have come a long way. They're basically their own ceilings now. Next is Perfect Power. This is a strong uh, degreaser, linear degreaser. Might see some changes with this. Find out. everything off. I mean you can see, hopefully you can see. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, let me adjust some of these lights down lower. Not sure if that helps but <laughs> I was trying. I don't have the best lighting in here. So I apologize for that. Seems to be doing good. Chemix looks like it slowed down a little bit, but we'll wash it and see. Yeah, that slowed Chemex down a little bit. Again, it's a sheeter. Um, graphene wax is going fast sheeting. Everything else still has strong beating, so let's continue. Next is uh, Meguiar's non acid wheel and tire cleaner. This is a little bit stronger than Purple Power, in my opinion. Uh, we own tire cleaners, I've found. I have a video on it. We do a better job than all purpose cleaner degreasers. Not to say that all purpose cleaners don't work, it's just uh, that dedicated chemical works better. And you get really nice uh, sudsing out of it, which helps you clean. down here is pushing off more. The Grios with the detail spray is pushing off more. The Rain-X together, excuse me, the new finish together is pushing it off. <coughs> excuse me, the rest of them, eh. some differences now I'm going to point them out. Chemex slowed down even more. Adam's graphene wax. Proper reload. The elixir is doing better. Yeah, that's it. Everything else is still beating, so I pushed off all those chemicals. So now we're into the more serious stuff. Requires wheel brightener, acid wheel cleaner. This is diluted about uh, 3 to 1.
you want to get it on there. All right. Let's see how uh, this affects everything. And guys, my garage door is cracked open, so don't, don't be too concerned about the uh, chemicals. I may be inhaling because I've got ventilation, so we're good. Uh, but again, the new finish, I can see it pushing everything off. And the Rios as well. Let's rinse it off and see. Really start to see some differences now. Adam's graphene spray is still doing great, especially the detail sprays. Graphene wax is slower sheeting, but still sheeting water. Uh, graphene wax with detail spray is sheeting faster than the wax by itself, so that's good. Thermal wax paste wax is fast sheeting. Chemex Awesome Sauce is moderately sheeting. Proper Reload is a fast sheeting. Elixir, can't really completely spot Elixir yet. But Reload with Elixir, interestingly, is not doing good, as good as Elixir on its own. All the rest of these doing great, some better than others, but uh, nothing worth mentioning. Yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me, Carpro Tarax. This is where we really start to see uh, some diminished uh, water behavior. I don't think this is going to kill anything outright, but um, it might take a few rounds of, that, of this to really start seeing a difference, but let's go ahead and get it started. Now this stuff, because it is solvent based, it doesn't mix with water. Uh, so it does give the illusion that the things are beating water again until you wash it off. And this is probably the best smelling chemical here. <laughs> because it uses, uh, I forget what that, called, that chemical is called, citrus something. Uh, it's a citrus based orange peel, citrus based uh, solvent chemical. And because it's it's you know based of a uh, organic nature, it smells great. Yeah, it's not water soluble, so it makes everything look like it's it's beating. So we're gonna wash it off, and we'll really see some difference. Make sure the camera's still recording. <laughs> We're good on that. Let's rinse and see. Oh yeah. A lot of things here took a hit. Okay, so the graphene spray coating still doing great. Graphene wax is uh, moderate sheeting. Graphene wax with detail spray is also moderately sheeting at about the same rate. 
Graphene detail spray, Zeppelin impact, it's fast sheeting. Really beat it up, still doing good. Turtle wax, uh, max wax liquid is fast sheeting. Taste wax is moderate sheeting. Flex wax is moderate sheeting. Diamond coat's fine. New finish, ceramics fine. Chemex Awesome Sauce is moderately sheeting still, so it held up. Turtle Wax Taste Wax with the Flex Wax is moderately sheeting. Uh, Max Wax plus Flex Wax also. So this is sheeting a little bit faster. Copro Reload is, is a moderately sheeting. Elixir is still doing pretty good. Elixir plus, plus Reload is fast sheeting. New finish graphene, still doing good. Uh, both of them together, doing, doing really good. And it's weird, I, I tested new finish before in different tests, now I didn't give it a full cure time because it said no cure time required. But we can see here, giving it 24 hours of cure, we're getting much better results from that previous video. So the ceramic, I mean they're both doing good, honestly. I can flood the graphene faster than the ceramic, but they're still both doing great. The graphene's easier to apply. Both of them together are doing great. Uh, Grios is all doing pretty good. Ceramic speed shine is doing a little bit better. Combined together, they're doing really good. The Raymix graphene wax is fast sheeting, detail spray, and both of them combined together still doing really good. And Rainex Ceramic is doing these. So we uh, had an impact on some of them, but let's, uh, let's do this one more round. And this time I'm going to spray this into the towel as well. It's like really worked in. So the towel I'm going to flip to a, <laughs> a relatively clean side, I guess. Everything's eating again. <laughs> you get a nice thorough wash. This is going to be it. We're going to see what passed the test. So far. There you go. We really impacted everything out of that time. So this time I'm going to bring the camera in close so we can get a nice close look at it. Alright guys, so the Adams graphene sprays. Let me turn this freaking light off. One second here. Okay, so Adam's graphene, ceramic, ceramic graphene sprays. See, those handled this no problem. But you know, I kind of expected them to. I'm gonna switch hands, because I'm right-handed. Uh, the Adam's graphene wax. See, that just about killed it off, slow sheeting. Graphene detail spray. Fast sheeting, doing good. Ready to beat it up. 
That was a cheap product, fast cheating. That's pretty good. For something that I believe doesn't even have ceramic in it. Uh, graphene wax plus detail spray. Shading a little bit faster, so the detail spray on top definitely helped. Okay, next is graphene sprays plus the detail spray. I don't see any difference, so um, I know you use the detail spray to top it up, or CS3 if you want to. Uh, next is the turtle wax. The max wax and paste wax. You see that is slow sheeting. Uh, let me let me turn the light back on because I feel like you can't see the water as well. Okay, I just changed the angle of the light, so hopefully that helps. Um, but right here we have turtle wax, max wax, and paste wax, plus with the flex wax on top of them below. Uh, you can see the flex wax makes it sheet a little bit faster. It's not a night and day difference, but um, you know, still pretty good. Uh, then over here, turtle wax, flex wax. That is a moderate sheet rate, I would say. Um, below it is Chemex Awesome Sauce. Awesome Sauce is still, it's moderate sheeting, so, I mean, if you like sheeting products, Awesome Sauce is <laughs> it's the way to go. Uh, White Diamond's Diamond Coat, that's one I've been really impressed with. Diamond Coat laughs at this test. And that's, that's a water-based product. <laughs> that's really easy to apply to. Uh, let's look at the new finish group. So new finish ceramic, also laughed at the test. Given it had time to cure this time, I didn't give it enough time to cure last time. But again, they say no cure time, so I don't know why they would say that. They should definitely, you should definitely give it a cure time. Uh, the new finish graphene, also doing pretty good. Uh, the ceramic, though, ceramic's doing even better, wow. And then below it, ceramic plus the graphene, doing really good. So, good combo there. Uh, now we'll go to CarPro Reload. Reload is sheeting off at a moderate rate, and that's a really old product there. Elixir, doing better than Reload, in my opinion. Yeah, Elixir is definitely a little better. And Reload plus Elixir. Pretty good, I mean, Reload or Elixir seems to do better on its own. Now, from my understanding, Elixir is a mix of uh, Reload and Echo and Water plus some proprietary components that CarPro added in. So I personally think that Elixir is better than Reload. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just how I feel about it. And then we'll go below to uh, Griot's Garage. Ceramic 3-in-1 wax and that. I've had that for like two years now in a bottle. Still doing good. You know, it's, wow. Pretty impressive. And their Ceramic Speed Shine. That's one that's, that thing's freaking impressing me. Ceramic Speed Shine's a detail spray. I mean, look at that, wow, amazing. Uh, and the Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax plus the Speed Shine. <laughs> it's just nothing, dude. Uh, then the new finish, or er, we already went over that, and it does great. <laughs> now let's go down to rain -X. This is rain -X, uh Graphene Wax Spray. Not bad, fast cheating. Uh, and this is Granex, Granex uh, Graphene Detail Spray. It shrugged it off like it's nothing. Unbelievable, and this is them combined together. Graphene Wax plus the Detail Spray. Easy. And then Rainex Ceramic Detail Spray. Not quite as good, but still not too bad. So there you have it, guys. Um, and just to finish it off, I will flood the entire panel just so we can see how it all Yeah, so I'll tell you my f my favorites in the uh, final thoughts here, but uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, I didn't kill anything off. These all did great. So hats off to these com these companies. Uh, let's go in for the final thoughts. All right. So thank you all for sticking with me through this uh, longer than average video. I've been meaning to do this test for a while, but I wanted to test everything out individually before I um, did the full test. So. Again, I've got videos testing just about everything out here. Um, some by themselves, some with other products. I think these, these four right here I tested 
with each other, uh, as well as beat it up. The rest of them have their own individual videos. So check those out. Uh, well, actually, no, I lied. These I tested together as well. Um, but anyways, uh, what stands out to me, guys, I mean, they all did great, but for the price, uh, the Grio Ceramic Green One Wax plus their Speed Shine, this stuff is pretty cheap. Um, you know, and you get, what, what is this? I don't think it's 32 ounce. It's a big freaking bottle, but does it say 22? You get 22 ounces. That's pretty good. Uh, Carpro Elixir, still a decent product if you are a user of Carpro products. Reload, um, I understand Carpro is working on a new one. They have been for a while, so we'll see. Not a bad product, but again, Reload came out long before, years before any of these other ones came out. The stuff is, is old. Um, the graphene spray coatings, they did just as I thought they would. Those are solvent based. Uh, graphene liquid wax, this is a sheeter. Um, if you guys like sheeting products, okay, these two are the way to go. If you like sheeting products, you don't like beading, get Awesome Sauce or get Graphene Liquid Wax. Uh, I'll put links to everything below. I think this still is only available in store at AutoZone. And I'll have that below if that's the case. Okay. Um, graphene Detail Spray. For a detail spray, this stuff's pretty impressive. This is not very expensive. You can also get it at AutoZone. Uh, for the turtle wax, uh, paste wax, for a paste wax, did really good. Um, I'm not into paste waxes though, but if you are, this is a good choice. Um, and they're max wax and flex wax. These are a little bit more difficult to apply because they are hard to wipe off, but they still did pretty good. Um, so if you like applying waxes, you know, this on top of these works good. You can use this by itself. If you're in the turtle wax group of stuff, pretty good. Um, Shocker to me, honestly, is new finish. Uh, the ceramic coating, which came out before the graphene coating. Um, you know, new finish, uh, they're, they're the once, one, once a year wax company that's been around since like my parents' time. And they recently started making new products and I'm just really taken back by how good it turned out to be. I mean, I know their, new, their original new finish wax was a good product back in the 1970s, 1980s, whenever it was. Um, by today's standards, it's it's okay. It's not that great. Uh, but something you can spray on and apply. Now, this is easier to apply. This seems to perform a little bit better. Again, I said it in the video a couple times. These do not state a cure time. They say no cure time is needed. Uh, if you watch my other video where I didn't give it a cure time versus this where I gave it 24 hours, significant improvement. So anything you apply that's graphene or ceramic based or even polymer based, guys, give it a cure time before you get it wet or wash it. It's going to do a lot better. Uh, the Rainex products, again, are very impressive. Uh, similar to them, Rainex has been around forever. Uh, their original stuff, you know, their spray waxes they didn't care for too much, but the graphene stuff and the ceramic detailer, really good. Uh, and then these last two products over here, three, beat it up. This stuff is cheap. I don't know if it's ceramic based, but holy crap, for the price, it's amazing. And this this is my go-to as a professional. So if you're into prof bleh, professional detailing, Really beat it up, okay? You can get the stuff by the gallon. A little goes a long way. Uh, apply it, your base layer dry, and then you can use it as a drying aid after that. Um, amazing stuff, super slick, super glossy. Uh, this is another one, White Diamond's Diamond Coat. So White Diamond, they're the ones that make the metal polish. Um, they're graphene infused ceramic spray. Really good, really good stuff. So if I had to choose what I was going to, to apply to a car based off of the performance and the ease of use, I would go with Beat It Up, White Diamond, and uh, Rio's Garage. These are my, my choices, okay? Um, White Diamond doesn't have many supporting products, but again, this is a very good sealant. Beat It Up, 3D's got an entire freaking professional line. I use a lot of it. I think it's great. Um, and this, this is probably the cheapest of the bunch. Um, but, and then, you know, Griot's Garage, you can get these on professional retailers, Amazon, um, or in stores everywhere. I mean, these you can get, this you can get in stores and on Amazon, this you can get in, in stores, Amazon, professional retailers. I mean, so they're all three pretty readily available. Um, and you know, if you go to like Auto Geek, Autopia, um, Detailed Image, which I have a discount code for, um, you can usually get this, you know, using a coupon code and save a lot of money. Um, these as well. This I haven't seen on any of those sites, but you know, this is about 20 bucks. These are about 20 bucks. This was like, I don't know, $15. The price may have changed, you know, whatever. 
Um, but that's my choice. And then, of course, because I do apply C quartz ceramic coatings, I'm always going to be using these things for cars that have, you know, C quartz coatings on them because I like to stay within a company's ecosystem. Because when they're developing products, you know, they develop everything in mind that, you know, this needs to work with our other stuff. So that's why, you know, that's my option. But um, that's it for the video, guys. Tell me which one was a big surprise to you. Tell me which one you've been enjoying the most. I know there's some other products that I did not include in this video. Um, let me know down below, you know, what, what products that aren't in this video that you'd like to see. Just comment below. I, I, I enjoy interacting with you guys. It's engaging. Can I say? I don't know what else to say. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Keep them clean. See you in the next video. Have a good one.